hi guys what's up how have you been i know it's been a minute but i am back i'm glad to be here i hope you've been well today we are having two interesting topics to discuss two things i have realized i really need to carry with me as i grow older and that is being confident and um doing your due diligence or rather being inquisitive so before we move on please if you've not subscribed make sure to subscribe and uh, yeah share widely maybe some of the videos that you've already watched and yeah, i know it will help someone else out there yes okay so let's move to the topic i am loved by the god of all i am loved yes i am loved all right so confidence confidence is being self-assured or having some um, you know believing in yourself and knowing that you can do something or you know just having that trust in yourself and you know coming from a Christian background so many times we've been told as Christians that you need to be humble you know there's even a verse that tells us to humble yourself before the Lord and he will lift you up and there's nothing wrong with that and that is totally okay but I, I feel like uh, we have really let the concept of humility suppress our confidence, you know. C.S. Lewis says that humility is not uh, thinking less of yourself, but rather not thinking of yourself so often, you know, like having room for others. Um, it's not putting yourself down, but recognizing that there are people around you and there are people who have played a role in your life to where you've gotten and you know giving them that that recognition that they deserve you know so when you're humble it doesn't mean that you're letting people walk all over you and and just put you down but you are aware that you know it didn't take you alone to get to where you are you recognize others are involved too yeah and simply when you are confident it doesn't mean that now you are arrogant as well there's a thin line between being confident and arrogance yeah when you are arrogant it's just about you you know um you know paul the greatest apostle that has lived i believe so many times has uh, talked about how proud he is of the gospel or how proud he is of what he's doing you know he's acknowledging his work he is confident of what he has achieved you know and he is not letting himself um okay he's not giving he's giving the praise that he's deserved you know and not overdoing it not doing it in a way that will make others feel down or doing it in a way that will demean others in the process but he is acknowledging that this is what i've achieved and this is what i believe in you know and i'll give um, an example of myself this is something i went through the other day and i realized today confidence is really important i met someone who is really who, who i admire i admire a lot and i got an opportunity to show her a song that i did and a part of that song there is rap there's someone rapping in the song and she asked oh you rap too and you know what i responded i said no i just sing there's i hope you're seeing the the thing the thing that is a problem in that statement you know that the word that word just it simply tells me that i don't i don't hold in high regard what i do you know i wasn't you know it's like i'm not proud of the fact that singing is is a thing or I, I sing so um i really took time to think about that and i was like yo that was me not being confident at all you know there was there would have been nothing wrong with me saying yeah i sing you know that is not being proud that is you just being confident and just letting someone know this is what you do and you're proud of it yeah so there's that um confident really comes in handy in helping us achieve our goals and even pursuing our careers and you know our professional lives and different other aspects of life just to end on this topic of confidence i really want us to know that you know being humble doesn't mean you 
you suppress your confidence yeah when you are humble it means you are confident as well but in a way that is not arrogant and in a way that doesn't put you down so there's a balance in there okay when you talk about doing your due diligence or being inquisitive it means you want to find out more so you are in quest for knowledge yeah and so many times this saves you a lot of time when you're making decisions because if you are deciding on something and you don't have all the details that are required for you to make that decision obviously you'll have to go back and forth you know so that you are finding the facts and everything else that is needed for this decision to be made you know um, it wastes time and it makes you unsure and even start doubting your, your decisions you know and yeah simply I think it wastes a lot of time it wastes a lot of time so when you are inquisitive actually everything springs from being inquisitive I think everyone that has researched on something or anyone who has invented something it all started there it all starts with a quest for knowledge people want to know more you want to find out something extra about something and so you go research on it so even in our lives we need to be inquisitive we need to not settle for less we need to go and find out more you know um, i'll give an example if you are trying to purchase something let's say it's a something as small as a cup or even as big as a car anything um you don't just settle for the price you know some people i have been a victim myself you just ask for the price and that's it and that's it and you're good but there are other things that are you know that influence the decision as well you know if it's a car where can i find it how much is it what's the color do i want what color do i want how um you know if it's not available here where what's the alternative shop you know where else can i get it am i going to buy it online is it physical all these questions are important and i have realized lately that i i find out information halfway you know i don't do my due diligence i don't find out full information and it has cost me a lot of going back and forth and it's something i'm really trying to work on and i want to avoid i wouldn't want to pass such traits to my children so yeah you know as we said from the beginning when you are starting this channel it's all about growing up and becoming better and making better decisions and learning different things so for me these are two things that i have discovered lately and i would really really want to work on them yeah so let me know in the comment section how how you've been working on your okay have you been working on being inquisitive do you find out everything that is needed before making a decision or do you find yourself going back and forth and wasting a lot of time deciding on something yeah and let's be confident in ourselves but please make sure to subscribe if you've not once again and uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share widely thank you so much for watching bye